do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos students in this video we will discuss question number 6 neat physics paper 2016 Hello students let us solve question number 6 two identical charged spheres suspended from a common point by two massless strings of length l are initially at a distance d apart because of their mutual repulsion firstly the situation is that we have a two identical charged spheres this is one this is another they are suspended from common point to thread of length l each having charge suppose q separated by a distance d this is the distance of separation identical charge suppose that this is positive this is positive so the force that is acting on both the spheres are in this direction this one will repel this and this one will also repel this this is a force of repulsion acting on the two charged bodies this force i call force due to electrostatic so it is fe here and fe there these two are of same magnitudes now it says that so this d is much less than l that means this theta is very very small this d is much less than l means the situation is something like this is very long and this angle is very very small this angle can be small so theta can be replaced by sin theta and that can also can be replaced by tan theta as when required the charge is being begin to leak from both the spheres at a constant rate now the charge that is accumulating here is start to now start decreasing at a constant rate when the charge starts decreasing at a constant rate suppose that the rate of decrease of charge is dq or dt this is the rate at which the charge will decrease So I can consider negative because it is decreasing. So this is how the charge will start decreasing, and this rate is same for both the spheres. And as the charge will come out of the sphere, it is very very clear that the net charge will decrease, and uh, they will now come come closer because. the force due to electrostatics between two charged bodies and the, the perfect spheres for spheres uh, they, they be like a point charge so the force uh, electrostatics uh, coulomb's law is applied and that is k q square or any generic r square here the r is the distance of separation between the charged spheres which initial is at d but you can see that this force which is holding them apart by distance d will uh, depend on this charge q so for this particular charge q the distance uh, is at d here and the sudden force is there when this charge will decrease the force will also decrease if the force decreases then this distance will also decrease okay so there is the if the charge is zero then the force will also be zero so force decreases and then this should uh, decrease and this uh, uh what will happen to this uh, this will come closer and uh, suppose that at any position the distance of separation between these two spheres is now like this
then theta where the distance of separation is x so if that is the case i'll draw here both sides it is like that and uh, this is uh, theta this distance is uh, now x and this distance is obviously x by 2 this is x by 2 if you think of this triangle and if i draw the force diagram for this so weight is mg vertically downward gravitational force the tension in the string will be in this direction the forces acting on the sphere is this way that is force due to electrostatic now this is an equilibrium for equilibrium I write that uh, the resultant of these two must balance the tension must balance the tension in the string so the I can write one more thing also in this triangle I write tan of theta is a uh, this vector by this vector which is uh, mg so i can write fe over mg if i do so tan theta is fe over mg and uh, i have to find uh, you to find the spheres approach each other with a constant velocity spheres are approaching each other with a constant velocity so they will move towards each other with a constant velocity then v varies as a function of distance x between the spheres as so this variation of v with respect to at any instantaneous position this v and x relation we have to establish okay this is the situation so we have to find v as a function of of x okay this is the question now f e over mg f e i told you is uh, k q square divided by r square that is x square this is the formula for that divided by mg this value is equal to tan theta and i told you tan theta can also be written as because this uh, is l and tan theta is uh, x by l over this distance but this distance is approximately same as the length of the string because the theta is very very small so in that situation this will be x divided by 2 divided by l so from here k q square over mg equals to x q by 2 l this is suppose equation 1 now I have the equation that uh, x q divided by 2 l is equal to k q square over mg this is equation 1 now I write that case x q is uh, 2 k l over mg into q square you can see that the these values are constant so x cube is proportional to q square or x is proportional to i'll write that here or uh, x x to the power 3 by 2 is proportional to q this i can write equation number 2 or variation this is how this two varies now the question is to establish the relations among the value of v as a function of x now i'm getting what i'm getting x as a function of q they vary like that so now next i have to find uh, or uh, 
differentiate uh, this equation, this proportionality with respect to k because uh, I want uh, dq over dt. Now, x to the power 3 by 2 proportional to q, if I differentiate this equation with respect to, with respect to t, I'll have what I'll have that uh, 3 by 2 x to the power 3 by 2 minus 1 dx over dt is proportional to dq over dt or uh, I'll write 3 over 2 x to the power 2 or oh, 3 minus 2 that is half and this is uh, dx over dt is proportional to dq over dt or I write that uh, dx over uh, dt is uh, velocity the rate at which the distance is decreasing is v v and the power of x is half this is a constant goes to the other side is proportional to 2 by 3 dq over dt but this is a constant, this also is a constant, so this is a constant, so I'll write v x to the power half is a constant, any constant. That means v is uh, directly proportional to x to the power minus half. This is what you're getting here. So the velocity as a function of x is x to the power minus half. X v as a function of x, v is proportional to x to the minus half. So option number four is the right answer to this question. Okay, thank you.